I was a big dreamer, you know, and so uh, my job was to clean these seven floors between Friday and Sunday. So every time I would go to the, the seventh floor was the CEO's office. So I would bust in like I was the CEO. I'm dreaming like I'm the CEO now. And who would have ever thought I've been blessed? And here I am. I am the CEO of my own company. Well, I think that the, the number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go. Because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane or the best ship in the world, but if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot does not know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we are going and that you're very passionate about that. And you see it always in front of you, the goal. To thrive in whatever you do, please understand your terrain. Know what your target is. Don't guess it. Be as clued up as the next man. Because that's, that's, that's your petrol, that's your, 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 your fuel to get you moving. If you don't know where you're going, what your targets are, you're never going to get there, period. And the other thing that's important is, is that you've got to shoot for the top. You've got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know? We don't achieve big things by accident. to tell each and every one of you that it doesn't matter how how old you are how young you are your age you can achieve anything that you set your mind to and I always say if I can do it anyone can do it um, if you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world and you think you can do it without working you make a big mistake because no matter what I did if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it is in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, some that make a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. I, I, I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If, if we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any, anything else, if you are obsessed, t uh, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And, and to see LeBron James, who's like a mega uh, superstar over here and a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, share um, that belief is, is inspiring right back to me. It, it shows that we are thinking correct. You know, this is, this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. This here is the reality? Do you mean that the competition is not the reality? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> behind the scenes is where the work is done. And everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run. I always questioned myself in the best of times, uh, even when I was world number one for many, many weeks and months in a row. At certain times during the year I said, what can I improve? What do I need to change? Because if you don't do anything or you just do the same thing over and over again, you stay the same. And staying the same means going backwards because the other guys are working hard and improving. So I always needed to find ways to improve my game as well. watch a lot of young people sort of meander around without any idea about why they're doing what they're doing. I mean to want and to be ambitious and to want to be successful is not enough.